Parents usually take on the role of their child's protector, but sometimes, in their quest to be super parents, they end up taking things too far. From an irresponsible sister who dragged her babies and siblings into traffic mayhem. Whose kid, who, whose baby is this? Why is he in the front seat? Is that a violation? Yes, you broke, you broke the law. To a mother who neglected her child so badly that she lost custody. They go knock, nothing knock again, nothing. They open the door, baby's alone on the, on the bed crying. So, on the bed? On the bed crying by itself, nobody in the room. I don't know what to do okay. with my child. My with child is okay. down here. Here are some wild stories of parents who found themselves on the wrong side of the law, all because of their kids. Starting off with an irresponsible sister who dragged herself, her younger sibling, and two innocent children into a dangerous situation that could land them in jail. You're in detainer right now, so we're going to read your rights, all right? Just so you're aware of that one. On July 6, 2024, officers conducted a traffic stop due to a license-related issue involving a woman named Lourdes Isabel Arriaga Espinoza. From the moment the officer began his investigation, it became a cascade of shocking discoveries, each more troubling than the last. <laughs> Are you Lourdes? Oh, you're Lourdes? Okay. Oh, your license is not good. No, no English? Oh, okay. So why are you looking, why are you looking around? You don't know what I'm saying? You didn't know? Hi. Is your license good? Do you have a, an ID card? I see it. Hi. So why are you driving with no license? You know you can go to jail, right? Have you been stopped with it for this before? So you know you can go to jail and you're still doing it, huh? Whose kid, who, whose baby is this? Why is he in the front seat? He's too little. He should be in a car seat. But he's not in it. So now she's gonna get a ticket for that because she's the driver. So that's on you. And how are you guys gonna get home? Because you guys can't drive. Huh? What county is that? Huh? St. Lucie? Oof. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Can you put him in the car seat, please? Hi. Let me see your ID, registration, insurance. Any guns, any knives, anything crazy in here? You guys have someone you can call to come get you? You might got to call an Uber because I might have to tow the car. How old are you? Oh my days. And you and you told her and you told her to drive. Yeah, but you permitted an unauthorized uh, user to, to drive this car. So you committed two crimes now. 214. So you've, co you, you've committed a crime by allowing her to drive, and she's committing a crime by driving. So both of you could go to jail right now. That's not good, right? As the situation escalated, Lords was removed from the vehicle. The officer, increasingly shocked by her reckless decisions, saw the case's outcome becoming unmistakably clear. You're being detained for now. You're on probation? It's in April, so like, yeah, for now. 12 months. Is that a violation? Did you get arrested for probation? Yes, you, you, broke, arrest you broke the law. You can't commit any criminal crime. You can't commit any crime on probation. Oh, or they what? violated and they take oh. away. You know that. It's not good, girl. Not good. You're in detainer right now, so we're going to read your rights, all right? Just so you're aware of that one. You have the right to remain silent, and anything you say, there's evidence against you. You have the right to talk to an attorney, have him or her with you now, or anytime during questioning. If you can't afford an attorney, I want to be able to represent you. At any time, wish to stop talking, I'm attorney present. All questions stop your request. You understand these rights? Okay. On you, and now you're putting your sister in a position where she can go to jail. I'm not saying she's gonna go to jail, but I don't even, does she even know that it's stressful? She doesn't really know anything. 
she's just young. Exactly. Yeah. She didn't know no better. Now you put her in this spot. You know what I mean? I'm trying to beat you up over it, but it's not right. It's not right at all. I understand, but can I talk to my mom? Hey, um, what's your, you have your probation officer's phone number? Yes. So, did they not tell you that if you break the rules, you, you violate your probation? They did tell me, but I didn't know, you know, See? over the four years, I know, like, once I did it, and then they just gave me a ticket, but it didn't violate my probation. Does your probation officer know you, did, you left the county? No, she doesn't. Because she just told me I could go back and forth, but if I'm able to stay out of the, like, out of the Back and forth where? Like, I can drive fast as long as I don't stay out of the county. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you something. So you don't know, you don't know anyone in your life that has a license. So who's going to come and get the kids? I don't, I don't know exactly. Have you guys talked to anyone that can come and get you guys yet? I've talked to somebody, but they don't have a license, you know. But are they... Alright, can you... Are they headed here, though, at least? Passwords, so we can call your probation officer. Are they headed this way, though? Yeah. Are they headed this way? Whoever you contacted about it's getting your kids. Uh... Sorry. I don't have her phone number, but I do have the card where I can call her. Where's the card at? In my car. Where? Um... In the front seat, uh, you can search it up on Google. Like the, the you're very just talking to you for ten minutes. I can tell you're very, very irresponsible. You don't have your probation officer saving your phone to at least explain situations like this. You're allowing your young sister to she can go to jail. You know that, right? Who, whose fault would that be? All right, all right, man. They're over here. Lord A's Isabel Arriaga Espinoza faced charges including two counts of child neglect without bodily harm, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and permitting an unauthorized minor to operate a motor vehicle. Additionally, her 16-year-old sister received a citation for driving without a license. Up next, we encounter a neglectful mother who only grasped the severity of her actions when the cuffs came on. What am I supposed to do about my dad not telling me about my child? Put your legs in the car. They're not telling me about, are they gonna talk to me? Yes. On March 12th, 2023, staff at the Oceanside Hotel at Miami Beach called the police after discovering a woman had left a one month old baby alone in a room for over an hour. Miami Beach police explained in detail to the child and family's team responding to the call as they arrived at the scene. Beach, sorry, but I'm breaking the baby crying in the room. Okay. She's like, oh, she didn't think much of it, you know, the baby crying. She goes on break, she comes back 40 minutes later. Crying. Uh, so she calls her manager, hey, the baby's crying in this room. Has the baby, has the, has the baby come back from parking in the car? And they said, we don't think so, we don't think so. They go knock, nothing, knock again, nothing. They open the door, baby's alone on the, on the bed crying. So on the bed? On the bed crying by itself, nobody in the room. How old is this baby? One, one month. month. I think it's a one month. So, so it can't turn around. Right, what? Correct. So we call. Yeah, you, you, know. Know. Yeah, yeah. you never know. Never know. Yes. So we call. They call us. They respond. We get, uh, they would need to her to respond back. So she comes back at, she walks through the door. We get 8 11. So it's exactly two hours. Two hours. Only because they called them. Only because they called them. That was the only reason. Well, she and her excuses, she was trying to find parking. Ooh. Which hotel staff says parking takes about 10 minutes. There's three different places that you can park. Right, and on so, the and she has a car seat, so she could just take the baby. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna be arrested. We haven't told her yet, but we just wanted uh, we wanted to wait on that before that we get somebody to care for the baby. Okay. And the ZTS have so we've been contacted. Uh -huh. and, uh, they said they're in yeah, they said they're in route, um, but we gave them this location. We gave them the station. Okay. Uh, we'll call them back.
No, I don't know. It's up to you. When the mother finally returned, officers swiftly detained her and escorted her to the police car. Meanwhile, she desperately kept asking for information when she'd reunite with her child. Let me take some more. I'm trying to figure out. Get her out. We're going to. Listen. We're going to have this whole conversation and everything's going to be explained to you. Where am I going? Where is he going? Yeah, will I be able to bond out or? Yeah, then you have to see a judge and then they decide all that. That's not our decision. So how am I going to be able to get him tomorrow? You're going to have to meet with DCF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how am I going to get my, my child what? back to Come North on. Carolina? Come on. Get him back to North Carolina. That's what I'm, I'm trying to see. I'm not what's your first here. name? Come on. Sharon, that's what Sharon. I'm trying to see what's going on about my baby. The people that are with your baby right now is our sergeant and victims advocates. Come on, walk so we can talk. Victims advocates, okay? This is exactly what they do. So right now, Jill's okay. And what's going to happen is DCF is going to come. When they arrive to our station, they're going to take custody of him. Okay? So how am they're I going to do... They're going to do their case, okay? And when, in regards to um, you getting custody back, is up to them. So I can't get my child? Not right now. Come on. I can't get my child Come right on. now? Come on. You can't take your child to jail. But how am I supposed to get my child? How am I going to get my baby tomorrow? The officer then searches the woman and continues to explain the situation. The woman becomes increasingly distressed, persistently asking how she will get her child back. Walk up to the car. How am I supposed to get my Walk, baby tomorrow? The car. My phone and stuff is in my pocketbook is out here. We'll I'll sure. grab all your stuff. But how am I supposed to I get my- I will grab all your stuff. But right now I need to search you. You need to face the car and we will have how this am conversation. I supposed, so I can't get my child back tomorrow? Oh my God, face the car. Spread your feet. But how am I supposed to get my- So I can't Spread get my baby feet. back tomorrow? Spread your feet. I can't get my baby back tomorrow, sir? It's not up to you. Right now, it's up to DCF. I've already explained it to you. Stop turning around and let me search you. I understand that it's frustrating, but right I now, mean, but I don't even have no family down here. I don't have no family down here. We have all that information, man. We are well aware. So how am I supposed to get my child? Again, that's DCF. Take a seat. So where, where is he going now? Take a seat to our station. Until okay, but, child, but I'm trying to figure out. Until the Department of Children and Families comes and takes custody of him. Get him the He's going to so take custody of him? Yes, for now. For now, it's temporary. It's not permanent. Temporary to what? For them to do the investigation. How is it an investigation? Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Whatever they're, I don't know. I don't work for DCF. But right now. But I'm ma'am, but I don't right know now, where I'm going. Where okay. is he going? He's going to the same place as you, to our police station. But he's not going to be in your custody. We're good. we're watching him. We have our victims advocates watching him. And then children and families will take custody of him until they decide that they do whatever it is that they're going to do with their case. We don't have any control over that. So how? So he's going to be left in Miami? No. Well, I don't know. Yes, I guess until they finish their case. I'm not sure. I don't. I mean, but ma'am, I don't. My, my, I don't have no family out here. That's what right, I'm saying. I, I understand that. So DCF is going to take custody of him. They literally do this every single day. They, they have places to take children. They have certain protocols and things that they do. Until they finish their investigation, obviously they're not going to ship him back to you if you go back to North Carolina. And I would hope that you figure out how to stay here until the case is over. But they need to do their how investigation. How long is this case? I mean, I don't know. I don't work for DCF. What part do you not understand? I don't know. I'm trying to explain so that. So how to you. do I know what to do with my my child, my They're going to reach out to you. They're going to I'm sure keep in contact with what's but going on. But I can't but I situation. can't I don't know what to do okay. with my child. My with child is okay. down here. My child, I don't right, have no so family down here. Okay, but so are you. Yes, I understand that. But so are you. Okay, they're going to try and do whatever it is. I don't know what they do with their investigation. Man, this they're is gonna not telling me what I need. Because they're going to contact you because you are his mother. They're going to contact you. 
So before you go back to North Carolina, they're going to contact you. And that's how you figure out how you're going to get custody back of your child. But they so need I to do their, their job what is and their this? investigation. I can't just go back to North Carolina or what? Without your just, child? No, I can't, I can't leave my child. I mean, no, no, obviously I'm, not. But they have to do their investigation first. How long is the investigation? I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I don't have any other answers to your question. So put your feet inside the car. But I can't. I don't know what to do. Inside the car. Ma'am, this is not telling me where, I, where am I going with my child. I don't have no family out here. I don't have inside no family out here. I don't know. I don't know either. You're going to the station right now, and then you're going to the county jail. And your child is going to our station. So what is going to so All the information on the child, the DCF workers will have it. So do I have to... I can't just leave. Like, I can't... Do I need to talk to somebody about getting my child back or what? Yes, you're going to have to follow through whatever DCF requires in order for them to give you custody of your child back. Oh, my God. Can I please give them my arms? Put your legs in the car. They're not going to give me my baby. Put your legs in the car. Don't make a scene. They're not going to give me my baby. Ma'am, get in the, put your feet in the car. My child. Put your feet in the car. They're not going to give me my child. Come on, sit in the car. What am I supposed to do about my They're not telling me about my child. Put your legs in the car. They're not telling me about, are um, they going to talk to me? Yes. The woman faced charges of child neglect and endangering a child's welfare. Moving on, let us take a look at another mother that got hit with one charge after another, after failing to convince the officers with her lies. So, um, do you have anything illegal on your person? No. No firearms, no marijuana, no drugs, nothing like that? Okay, if you're completely fine with her moving your vehicle to a legal parking spot. On February 13th, 2024, Iowa officers initiated a traffic stop after a license plate scan revealed the driver was barred from driving. When officers approached the vehicle and requested paperwork, the suspect was visibly shocked to learn of her violation. Hello. How's your day going today? Not good, we just put my dog down. Okay, where are you going, to, where are you heading right now? Um, my daughter is at DMOS. Okay, does she have a doctor appointment or what? Yeah, she did, she's having an x-ray. Okay, what happened with her? Um, she has, um, she tore her labrum in her hip. With what? She tore her labrum in her hip. So. Oh no, those are no fun, I've had one of those myself. So the reason why I stopped you today, Megan, is you're you're barred. You can't be driving. What do you mean? Your driver's license status is barred. What? Yeah. I just got it. What do you mean I'm barred? Through the state of Iowa, you can't be driving a motor vehicle throughout throughout the entire state. Is that your, I'll grab that for me. What the and do you, do you have an ID with you? Yeah, just Like I just got it. Well, it looks like that was issued back in November. Yeah, which is okay. just a couple months ago. Okay, did you, have a... you have you gotten pulled over or anything like that or any mail from the DMV? No. No. I thought I have a letter at home that says that I need to carry it with me at all times. Okay. Do you have the uh, form 431009? What is that? The form that the state has told you that you have to have with you while you're driving? Yeah. I, do you have that with you? No, not at, not. Specifically. Okay. Um, but I have, yeah, I have my insurance. Okay. Address. Do you have that insurance with you? I don't understand. Where? It's in Clyde. Up over there? Yeah. Okay, well, what were we doing down over here? My son was at his dad's and he okay. needed to tell him that we put our dog down today. Okay. And so I was just over there. And you said your daughter's in here? Yeah. Who's she with? Herself. She's 18. Oh, okay. Are you just supposed to be picking her up then? or? Yeah. Yeah. And it's always a rough time. Those so they're hard to say goodbye to. Yeah. They're best friends for Never. many years, and then it always sucks to put them down. Does it say why I'm barred? I can look it up, but I'm gonna guess it's gonna be uh, something with 
a violation of your driving status. I'm secure. I'll take a second on emerging. So just go ahead and t hang tight. I'll be back in a second, okay? okay? The officer then confronted the driver about her daughter's appointment, and when the officer probed into it, the officer's next action was clear as day. What time was your daughter's doctor appointment? At five. At five? So click on that first one. Scroll down. There's gonna be, just keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. So put in, put in your first, last name, all that information for me real quick and we'll see what's going on with us. Have we gotten pulled over since uh, you had that issue to you in November? No. Have you had any other convictions or traffic stops or violations of getting your SR-22 filed in time? Mm-mm. Okay. Nope. I did have a, um, at the time, period that I was losing my license, yeah. I had to get my, pick up my daughter, and I did get um, a driving while suspended. Okay. But that was like at the same, that was like before I got this, like before I got my license. Okay. Well, let's click it. Let's click that in there and see why we're barred then. Does that match what's on my ID right now? Yeah, I mean, that's when it was issued, but you've had, um, issue since you've been issued it which puts you back to barred You're, you can't get a driver's no. license until like 2029 no i got my i got this after I right got my license after that and the dot hasn't mailed you anything or told you that you you can't be driving no okay is daughter here right now yeah I'll can we give her a call what's your daughter's name And can you just put on speaker so I can talk with her real quick? Huh? Yeah. Can you put it on speaker for me so I can? Yeah, it's on speaker. Oh, I just couldn't hear it. Hey, are you okay? Are you home or are you still at Demos? Can you put it on speaker yeah, so I can hear her talk? Speaker. I just can't hear her. Here, hold on. The police want to talk to you. Hello. Hello. Hey, are you, are you Megan's daughter? Mm -hmm. Hey, where are you at right now? Um, my house. Okay. okay. Did were you over here at uh were you getting anything done at the doctor's office over here today? No. No. Okay. You can go and hang up. Go and stop one out for me. I'm really lenient with this kind of stuff, but when people lie to me. Yeah. We're done. So we're going to be going to jail tonight for driving while barred. So go ahead and step out for me. The suspect, when pressed for the truth, started another emotional drama. Meanwhile, a search on her belongings had been initiated. So, um, do you have anything illegal on your person? No. No firearms, no marijuana, no drugs, nothing like that? Okay. If you're completely fine with her moving your vehicle to a legal parking spot, we can do that. If she's willing to get in here, sometimes if cars are messy, we don't necessarily want to move it. But if you're fine with that... Yeah, we'll get it. Okay. Does she have to blow into it when she starts it? Yeah. Well... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Oh, there's one minute left. Okay. Can I start okay. it yep. for you? Will it shut off after a minute? Yeah, I'll just no, keep no, it you'll, To move it, you'll keep it Okay, let's just step right back there to the front of my car, okay? Why are we lying about this? I just didn't... I'm just nervous about okay. my dog, and I just... Okay. Then when you said so that, I was I just, just... I'm gonna put your purse right up here for right now, okay? When you said that I was barred, I'm just confused, and I didn't... Okay. I want to get in trouble. I'm so confused. But you told understand. me you you told me you were coming here to see your daughter before I even told you that stuff. I was just nervous. Twenty, we're secure. You can issue me a case. So did we know we were barred? No, I didn't. Okay. I honestly don't. I didn't. I do not understand Copy. that. So why did we tell me that we were coming here to see your daughter? Because I just I just got scared. Okay. Uh, so where were you coming from earlier today then? My daughter's dad's house, or my son's dad's house. What's I, his name? 
Okay. We just, we just told my son that. Where does he live at? Um, on, um... What, do you know his address? Mary, um, I can look at my phone. Yeah, if you could for me. Was well, there no contact order in place between the two of you? No. There's not? No. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay, well, let's just hold off on calling him real quick. <laughs> Do you know his address? Um. Does he share a location at all? If you scroll down, can you see location now? Okay. Well, we don't have a like, no contact order. What's his last name? Do How old is number? he? 48. Okay, what's his phone number? And, uh,. Did you have any, like, did you get arrested for a domestic or anything like that that happened uh, with him? One of my, the, the boyfriend that I had. One of the boyfriends that you had? Yeah. He's the defendant, though. No, he's a protected defendant. No, I'm... You're protected? I'm yeah. Protected. Miranda? Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Just go ahead and hang tight up here with her for a second. I'll be back in a second, okay? The officer remained unfazed, reciting her rights before taking decisive legal action. All right, Megan. So, since you're sitting here talking to two cops, I'm going to read your Miranda rights, okay? So you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney and have your attorney present while you're being asked questions. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You decide any time to exercise these rights and not make any statements or answer any questions. Do you understand those rights? Yes. Okay. Is this going to be THC? Oh, it might have a trace of it, yeah. Is it like THC oil or what? It's like a CBD blend or something. Okay, where'd you get this from? Um, my ex-husband gave it to me. Where did he get it from? Like Colorado? Mm, yeah. Who's your ex-husband? Okay, well I'm gonna tell you this too, is he has a no contact order with you, it just hasn't been served. What? So I would be cognizant of that, because it's in our system that's just not served. So if I run, if somebody runs into him, I run him, they're gonna serve him his no contact order where he can't be contacting you at all. That he so, should, where did this come from? I can look at what county it's through again, but I, and I would, to them, if you're wanting it, drop. So when I test this, is it going to come back as THC? Yeah, it'll, it'll have some in it, I'm sure. Blend, it's, it's a blend. Right, but is it like, is it a hemp CBD pen, or is it going to be this? No. Okay. I don't know what the percentage is. Okay. Honestly, I don't. All right. So, just go ahead and turn around, put your hands behind your back. Yeah, I'm still looking. Nothing else on your person at all? Park the car windows are off, it's locked, so it'll just remain here if you want to let somebody know that that's where your car's at. Just since that no contact order hasn't been served, but it doesn't mean that. Against, like, who did it? Like, I don't... And I'll tell you what county it's through, but I'm guessing it's from some type of domestic relationship, uh, assault. I came yeah, through, so. Okay, Megan, I'll just have you stand up right here. Face the flag for me. Nothing illegal on your person? Nope. Okay, just go ahead and face the flag for me. Just gonna use the back of my hand here, real quick. I don't know if you guys like a kid and like you had a domestic or something and cops no. all do your house. Nothing in your bra at all? No. Nope. Alright, go ahead and have a seat here. As they continued to search her belongings, they made more interesting discoveries that would only add more counts to her charges list. So how come you use this? Okay. So you use it for pain relief? Yeah, it's more like this kind of Okay. Do we take medications for anxiety or anything? How often do you get these from your ex-husband? The first time. First time? Yeah, well, ripped off. Oh, girl, that's THC all day. Smell it. What am I testing? Yeah, I will be. She said I'll be able to test it.
She's trying to hold the pen and the stuff off. Have you been arrested for narcotics before? No. Yeah, marijuana. No. Nothing else? No. Okay. Never. Never? I have it in my hand. See that girl? See how it's changing colors from purple? Purple on bottom and it's light on top? Yeah, that means it's THC. What was that? Yeah, if it's testing in here, then it's over what you can legally have. And either way, when you have hemp, you can't inhale it. That's illegal as well. She was charged with driving while barred and inhaling hemp. Up next, meet a father who stormed in, barking demands to free his son. Fails to free himself from cuffs of disorderly conduct. Why was my son detained? That's why he I came. Him. He was, and I tried to leave, and then he arrested me, Steve. and now I'm dealing with this. On September 23rd, 2023, an off-duty officer at a high school homecoming dance detained a student after a fight, only to have the boy's intoxicated father suddenly intervene. The responding officer first briefed the situation to another colleague that arrived, and he dived in to inquire about the suspect's father. But aggressive denials by him only escalated the situation. What happened? So, I'm sitting inside the... Yeah, I'm sitting inside the little office with, uh, his son, who's 18 years old, and her, his girlfriend. Um, were they attending the dance? They were attending the dance. They were just involved in an altercation oh, with another student. Uh, apparently, it's her ex-boyfriend. And uh, the, this Stephen Stevens came up, was escorted in by one of the teachers, and automatically started barking orders of needing to release his son. Um, I told him that he cannot leave yet, he's being detained until the investigation by the uh, assistant principal was finished and whatever she needed to do as far as documentation and getting names and all that. Male subject Ricardo uh, heard on the someone in the What happened up here tonight? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? My wife dropped me here because I was checking on my son because we anticipated issues mm -hmm. with some Okay, and the, this officer asked you to leave, and Wrong. then what happened? Wrong. That's not what happened. I know what you guys are doing. Listen, just... Well, I'm here to investigate what I want to know happened. why my son was illegally detained, and I tried to remove him, and he arrested me. That's what happened, and I'm going to get a lawyer. Okay. I'm a professional. I'm a mental health professional. I have no criminal record. Okay. I came here to check on my son, who did nothing wrong. You can't tell me he didn't. Did he break the law? Did my Carson Stevens break the law? I have no idea. I just got here. I'm Did not he? here to investigate. All right. I'm Listen, here to investigate I know you guys are just you. doing your job. I'm here to investigate. I know Jeremy's what? just doing his job, and I know I caught him at a wrong time, and it was a situational thing. Okay. Listen. Uh, you know, how about you listen to me for a second? Okay. All right. I'm not Say here it. to investigate any of that stuff. All right. All right. I'm here to investigate what happened with you. What happened with me is I walked right. in to check on my son. I understand that. And I asked, not actually I didn't ask, I said we're leaving Carson, and I got arrested. All right. And you were told? And that's what legally is going to happen. Sorry, you Listen were, guys, you were told to leave. we don't need to do this. No, I was not. You were not told to leave? I was leave not and, told to leave and, and I was not trespassing. And escorted out. And I was not illegally trespassing and that's what he said I was arrested for. And escorted outside. Listen, I know he's okay. got emotions. We got right. emotions. Are you Listen. injured? Yeah, maybe. Well, do maybe. You need, a, do you need to see a life squad? Yes. Okay. We'll or you life, can like, we'll get a life squad let's up be here to check on you. Please. Can we be reasonable? I can forgive Jeremy if he can, like, come on, man. Are you going to arrest me for what? What am I, well, what am I arrested for? You're not getting unarrested for? Uh, Jeremy's told me DCI resisting arrest. Jeremy said what? Jeremy, tell me what I'm arrested for. I, I, 
And I tell I him need to right hear here, it from Jeremy. He's already told you multiple times. No, he has not. Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. He said it while it, something else was happening, just to say he could. Okay. All right. Why am I you arrested? Need... Listen. Did you get a life squad up here? Hey, yeah. okay. guys. All guys. Right. We got a life squad coming up to check on you. All right. Please. What hurts on you? Steven, what hurts on you? Why was I arrested? What hurts on you? You answer my question. I Why was I arrested? Disorderly conduct while intoxicated. Resisting arrest. I am not intoxicated. I did not resist arrest and I did not trust well, that. That's what you're being arrested you guys, for. Listen, guys. Finding the father claiming innocence and argumentative, the officer looked towards the son for his account. This eventually decided on the course of the suspect's legal procedure. He just came in. You know, officer tried to say he was young. Okay. He said, nah. And then he tried to walk out. He said, what's he doing? He's 18. He can't leave this place. And the officer said, no. He said, you're going to have to leave, sir. And he said, okay. Uh, officer started dragging him out. It's the last thing I've seen. Okay. And that's the last time yeah. you've seen him? Yep. All right. So you weren't out here for no, anything no, out here? I wasn't so. Okay. All right. Well, he's being arrested, all right, yeah. for uh, DCI. He's obviously got an odor of alcohol about his person. Uh -huh. I haven't seen him outside the car or anything yeah. like that, but he's obviously been drinking. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he's intoxicated. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I have no dealings with him yeah. outside of that. That's why you weren't. Dad, out. stop! So, You'll be good. Dad, stop talking. You'll be okay. Hey, hey. Boy, clear. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Carson, Carson, Carson. I came up here to help please, my son. Please, please. please stop. Yeah, you guys are Everything is Please done. stop. Please stop, man. Sorry. Yes, I, you're, you're all right. You're all right. Is this your mom? Your mom. Here? Yeah, that's my mom. Okay. I know it's the daughter, man. All right. I mean, it's... He's, he's calling me. And everything else he, under the sun. He did not seem to understand that. Right. So yeah. you're 18 years old, he doesn't need to be involved in the situation. Right. I get it every and, day, man. Yeah, I would have allowed him to stay in there if he would have. Why was my son detained? That's why he I came. Him. He wasn't. He was, and I tried to leave, and then he arrested me, Steve. and now I'm dealing with this. Steve. That's Steve. exactly Steve. what escalated no. it. He escalated okay. it, man. Calm finger. down. Jeremy escalated it. Steve, let me see your finger. Buddy. I'm a psychologist. I'm going to tell you right now, Jeremy escalated the situation. I asked, I told him why I was here. So let me check your vitals and I'll get out My of here. My vitals today. are fine, dude. Hey, Go. You All right. You're being arrested. For I know I'm being arrested. I already, I already know that. Watch it. Listen, guys. Watch it. You're good, Seriously. man. Just have a seat. Seriously, I'm on your side. All right. Left leg. Just tell me why I'm being arrested. I'm not. I never resisted. All right. Just watch it. Despite holding a master's degree in clinical psychology, the father's continuous arguments with the officers did not improve his chances for obvious reasons. You should talk to Jeremy, like, because what I'm saying is for real. All right. Shut it down. I'm just telling you a little bit. Bro, I got a master's degree in clinical psychology. Like, I'm not trying to be a criminal. I hear you. Where'd you go to school? Matt, Moorhead State. Oh, nice. I work for Cincinnati Children's. The dude detained me for no reason. I came, I walked into the room and said, I'm taking my son home, and he put me in cuffs. I'm not kidding. Talk to him about it. Ask him about it. Dad, right stop, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me, please, Dad. Oh, Listen, hey, Steve. Leave you didn't in. tell me to leave. Steve. You didn't tell me to leave. Hey, Steve. Dad, Dad, Dad stop talking to me. Look me in the eyes and say Dad. you told me to leave. Dad. Look me in the eyes and say stop. You're going to make it worse. Hey, you lose your job. You're Look me in the eyes and say you told Dad. me to leave. Steve. You're charging me with trespassing. Come on. Come on. I came to get my Steve. son. Steve. Come on. I'm not ready. I haven't given you any promise. You can have my wallet here. You have it on you? Back my wallet. Yeah. Get his wallet. Can you give me your wallet? I'm not being an. 
Oh, man. We'll get yes. you out in the morning. They're going to give you a phone. Oh, we'll get me out in the morning. Hey, stop. Do you want her to have your phone? I've got your phone in my Please. car. Let's you know, have my, it you know, you know all I phone. wanted to do was take him home. Do you, want your, do you want her to have your phone? Do you know my phone number by Dude, heart? Yeah. I was just taking my son home. Do you want her to have your phone? Steve, you got four Please, yes. you got five Dad, minutes. I'm getting out of this, Dad. You got not, three charges I right now. I came to take my son with you. What are my charges? Have a seat. What are my charges? Have a seat. He didn't tell me to leave. Have a seat. He knows he didn't tell me to leave. Hey. Do you have a body cam? Have a seat. Yeah, he does. There's whoop. All right, see. Good. Wake up. Because you never Wake said up. leave. You never said have leave, Jeremy. Have a seat. Did you? Stephen, have Why a seat. won't you answer me? Carson. Have a seat. Can you answer that question? Did you tell me to leave? All right, all right. Seat. Did have you tell me? All right, I'll have a seat. Jeremy, did you tell me to leave? Steve. Come on. Because I would have. Because I comply. It's Savannah's dad. Stop. I know. And I'm learning that now. This wasn't. They're not going to take that to jail, so. Yeah. Hey, Stevie. What would you say, Carson? Let me just tell him this. Another bait. Another one of these, Steve, right? All right. Let's hear it. Huh. I'll make sure this is in his pocket hey, when he goes. So up, will you please? He'll have your phone. Because I hate those things. No, give me that. We, can't, we no. can't bust it on. I, I hate we, those we would have to put it on a property tag and submit it to yeah. property. And no, you're not touching that. Give me that. Because I'm, I'm going to feel real good tonight when I bust the shit out of that. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. really? Yeah. One of these? Go ahead and go. Hey, you're going to make Get out. it. After assessing the charges, the officers took legal action against the father, a decision he did not take well. Corporal Ryan's and Corporal Ryan, yes. I know you have a phone job. No. Just be cool with us, man. Just cooperate. I we will. weren't there. I, okay. I've not resisted but at all. What's done is done. So what's just, done is done. You're right. We got to do paperwork, and then uh, we'll be we'll be taking you downtown. I know. Taking me downtown? Yeah. To Hamilton County Jail? Yeah. Okay. All right. So just cooperate with us. Man, you guys are silly. You know, again, we, we didn't have anything to do with child it. Child counsel. You guys are crazy. Whatever. Let's do this. I can't wait. Does he have video of me resisting and him telling me to leave? Again, Steve, we, have, we, have, we have nothing to do with it. I know you guys weren't. And I'm trying to be respectful in that, but this is... I mean, wow. Can't wait to just have a seat yeah. on that bench there. Yes. Wow. So much easier to just. The father was charged with disorderly conduct, trespassing, and resisting arrest. Now, we see how a heated argument turns chaotic as a husband grabs his wife, unable to accept comments about his child. Look, man, you can chill. I'm going to put you in handcuffs. You've been cool with us, all right? Let's just walk over here and talk. On February 19th, 2022, officers responded to a domestic call where the wife reported her husband in a Waffle House uniform was choking her and might be carrying a weapon. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers immediately encountered the distressed couple. With urgency, they took swift action to calm the escalating tension. Hey, did you call us? Where's Carlos at? Where'd he go? You know where we went? You called us though? Yeah. Okay, you don't know where he went to though? Did he walk off somewhere? No, that's with my mom. All right, so where did he go though? I just came out here. I was on the phone with the other people. Okay, we got told he was out here still, so. Is he in your apartment? That's my nephew. He was killed. Okay. Do you have any weapons or anything? No. Okay. Which one? Which one's your apartment? He's just coming out, wasn't he? What's up, man? Carlos? Mm -hmm. You got any weapons on your boss? No, All right, just turn and put in the water real quick, okay? He ain't got no business breaking, man. And he ain't got no business putting his hand on the right. He's not worried about the liquor stuff. He broke my purse. I don't know him about this. Man, I ain't broke it. Man, I grabbed, broke the zip. Okay. He broke. But you, you choked okay, it, right? Okay, you put okay, your okay, hands okay, on it. Okay, okay, okay. See, you put your hands on it. Okay, okay, okay. I tell you, okay. Let's go back here and talk. Okay, got it done. Who's the other? Are you the other party? Okay, okay. Here. 9-3. I know they're going to be goddamn. Talk to her. Okay, okay, okay. I don't really see what's going on, what happened. So, uh, that's how y'all want it. Look, man, you can chill. I'm going to put you in handcuffs. You've been cool with us, all right? Let's just walk over here and talk. 
Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Look, just ignore all that. All right. Damn, bro, like, Let's just go with it. So, Carlos, what happened today, man? So, uh, what happened out here? So, you want me to drain? I told me my auntie. Look what he doing. Here, do you mind if we go talk right over here? He ain't got no rights to her. Man, she started talking to shit about my baby. So, yeah, then you look taller. Yeah, I did put my hand around the throat. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. Yeah, she started talking shit about my baby. So, Okay. They then turned to the wife, who started detailing her horrible experience. Her voice trembled as she described the terrifying moments. And who else else don't like it? I don't care. All but right, so tell me what's going on. Okay, we all woke up, and he wanted to argue. I didn't want to he argue. Choked so he choked, okay. he choked me. He choked me. He choked me in there, then I went in there, and he choked me in the living room in front of my sister. Though. So I came, I called my mom, and my mom told me, calm down, calm down. He came back in there and, like, got the fight, quick like that. Okay, so he, you guys woke up this morning, started arguing, he choked you. Um, you said your sister saw him choke you? My sister. Okay, is your sister somewhere over here? What school is it? Yeah, over there, talk to you. So after, after he choked you, you guys just started arguing, and that's when you called the police? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you have your license on you by chance? They can hit it. I hope they got full cool cover. Do you have your license with you? Oh, or, it's in the house. I know my license yeah, number. Yeah. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys are married, correct? Okay. What were y'all arguing about? He said it in stuff. He thought I was cheating. And I, I just woke up. So I'm like, okay. I went about to argue, though. All right, let's, let's go back more and say so y'all began arguing about he thinks you're cheating on him. And then kind of... Um, my for my newborn, he said, is it mine? And then we got arguing. And then that went happened, came up to my face. And we were arguing, he choked me. Now, can you go in more depth with that? Like, how long, what, did you block, black out? Or how long did he grab you for? Or did you fight back? Kind of go more detail. 30 seconds. What was he saying at this point? Stop playing with him. How was he grabbing you? Like, here. Yeah. It was rough. I got asthma, so I can't breathe that good. But you didn't black out, right? Okay. Can you lift your head up and see if we can see any? Are you sore at all or anything? Right here. Do you want to ambulance to check it out? I had JK in my breath. So let's say after the first time you said he was choking you. And what happened after that? I got up and went to the living room. I was, was I told, bedroom? Mm -hmm. okay. I told my sister that he was choking me. And then he came out there and he was like, you can call anybody, they can get it. I don't care, I'll fight anybody. And I was like, you just need to shut up. And then he got in my face again and did it again. And my sister was gonna hit him. And then he was just talking. Then I went outside and called him mom. So how did he end up stopping? He just I kept kicking, kept kicking him? Okay. And you said your sister was in there at that point? Yeah. And you said you called your mom? I came outside, I called my mom, and my auntie called me from out, because she was inside, because he went over there and told her what happened, but he didn't tell her he choked me. And I told her that he choked me. And she was like, okay, y'all calm down, you calm down. And I calmed down and went in the house. And then he came for me again, and then we just, like, literally, he was fighting like I was a dude. So that's why I called police. Did he do anything other than choking you? He was just punching me after that. Where? Right right here. Meanwhile, other officers focused on the husband, starting to unravel his side of the story. They pieced together bits of information to fully unlock the mystery. I ain't choked, but I put my hand around the throat, though. Yeah, okay. I did do that. Okay. Yeah, well, let's just do this, man. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. We're going to go and detain you for now, all right? It's because you've already made that allegation, all right? Yep. Again, man, you've been cool with me. We're going to be cool with you. This stuff too tight for you. You got some pretty wide shoulders, all right? Look, he's going to check these things for fit, okay? Yeah. Make sure you're comfortable there. Not too tight there? Right. No, sir. Right. 1026 with Carlos. Yes, sir. What's your last name? Okay. We'll get that fixed. You double lock him yet? Yeah. Okay. Does it comfortable for you right there? Yes, sir. All right. Well, man, I got a personal question. I had no gloves on. Is that like, is that piss or just like a liquor or something like that? That's, that's my drinking. Okay. I saw you carry it out. We're just going to come sit you down right here. Here you go. You get some random car wheel. Hey, these seats too small. I'm a big mother. You just want to stand out here then? Yes, sir, please. Yeah. That's cool, man. Are you good? Got that seat too, guys. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to lean against against the bumper, or you can lean against that one right there. You can, all right? No, I'm good right here. Okay, all right. Go ahead and read them around. One through five. Skip that. One and two. 
He's gonna read you this. You're not under arrest right now. You're just detained, okay? Yeah, uh, I am getting arrested. Okay. No, no. So what this means is, anytime you go in handcuffs, okay, you obviously you know you can't leave, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to keep talking to you. I want to get your side of the story, but for me to do that legally, I gotta read you this, and it's up to you if you want to keep talking to us. So okay. this does not mean you're under arrest. It just means you're detained due to the comments you made. Okay. So he's gonna read this to you. Listen to him. Provide him an answer, and we'll go from there. You have the right to remain silent. Uh, you have no, the right to. You have the right to. I just gotta read it. I know. Yep. You have the right to having these rights in mind. Do you wish to talk to us now? Mm -hmm. uh, so, I one more shot of look at the ankle at you. Uh, I don't have nothing right now, man. If That's we can, if we can get to the house, we'll see what we can do. But we gotta figure out our part first, okay? Right, um, right. So, so you were saying y'all got into an argument? She yes, was saying sir. something about the baby. Yes, sir. Okay, it, what was yeah, she say? It, it really went on about the baby, uh, cause she already know I ain't. I grew up without my dad, so I know how it feels not to have no parents around. Yeah. She started throwing that, uh, started throwing that up my face and all that. That's how my parents ain't gonna have no. She gonna get through that and all that. And I don't, I, I really try to avoid that situation because I know the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. So that time I really, I really didn't, I was really just laying up and started uh, trying to avoid it, but it really started getting to him. So yeah, I did start getting a little mad. Okay. I did put my hand around, so yes, I did do that. I ain't okay. Say I did. All right. And yeah, it did get, yeah, it started getting to that point where she felt like she had to call the police and all that stuff. Okay. But the only thing I was trying to do after that, after I put my hand around, so I was trying to get my car. Okay. That's it. You just trying to get your car to leave or yeah. what? I was trying to get my car because I got to go to work anyway. So okay. I was trying to get my car and leave and go to work. That's Is that, uh, you said like debit card, credit card kind of my, deal or uh, like car keys? Emerald card. Okay, what is that? Uh, my, it's my, it's my, for my income tax. Okay. okay, is she on that as well? Uh, no, not Are y'all married? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's all joint stuff, yep. basically, okay. Basically not, because <clears throat> I had my own, uh, she had her own. Okay, so now, when you put your hand around her throat, did you squeeze her? You, so you just put her, basically just, just touched her, essentially. Did you put her or anything? Yes, sir, I did. That. Okay. Yeah. Just she, back up off of you, because okay. she me, so yeah. I did. All right, she was hitting you first? Yeah. I, mean, I know, I know my limbs now, I know not, because she's a female, I know not to do that, but she, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole different story. Who the fuck? I feel you, man. But other than that, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I did put my head around the throat to hold it back from getting hit and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I did do all that, but other than that, hey. did she ever hit you? The victim continued to share her account. Soon, her sister joined in, revealing what she had witnessed during the choking. That's it. That was when I was talking to the pet lady, I was in my room. She kept walking in and out, telling them, telling them, you could tell her, I'm going to be outside, I'm going to be waiting. I, I told him. Have you ever called the police on him before? Yes. Or vice versa? Anybody go to jail? No, they couldn't find him. But I had it on restraining order, but then I dropped it. Because at first, okay, I had a restraining order because him and his sister tried to jump on me when I was pregnant. And I dropped it because we were all talking about it at first. So, you know, I stopped, we went to court. I told the judge I went to drop it. I dropped it. Thanking it. Now I, I, now I don't even know what to do. Is the sister over here now? <laughs> yes, she do. But she was sitting right now. It's one in the rear. The black. With the AirPod in? Yeah. The sister will talk to you. Okay. Uh, what's her name? Do you mind talking to me for a minute? Sure. They're probably getting confused, both of y'all, right? So does she want to tell me what you saw, what happened? Well, what I saw when she came out the room. As the suspect elaborated on his relationship troubles and possible witnesses, the victim's sister provided more details about the argument. Huh. Did she ever hit you? you yes, she, yes, she hit me, but that's, that, I'm not even worried about that. I don't even want to pressure that. That's not even nothing mm -hmm. I want to pressure. I Anything get broken that. inside? Uh, I don't think they got broken with her little book bag. That's the zipper part, that's it. Okay, did you bust that or how did it I get? I ran and bust that because I was trying to get my car. That's okay, all right. Um, where's the baby at? Out of the bedroom. Was, yeah, they was arguing, and I guess, Again, I did see him put his hand around her neck. I did see him do that. I did see him do that. He did it like twice, and he admitted to it. He said he'll do it again, but that was really all I saw. How long did he have his hands around her neck? Uh, at her mama house, my dad just pulled up. Okay, so he's safe, or he or she? Is it boy, little boy? A little girl. A little girl, so she's safe right now. She wasn't here for none of this? No, sir. Okay, anybody else witness this? Uh, the girl with the red jacket on. Okay. The girl with the pajama pants on. Uh -huh. The other one, I guess she went back in the house. Okay. okay. All right. We're going to let the other two officers talk to them. We'll get it all figured out. Um, get your notepad out. We're going to get you all your spellings. I know I said your name wrong when I first got up here. We'll get some clarity, okay? Just spell your first name for me. And this is baby mama, right? Yes, sir. But y'all oh, married? Actually. Yep. So, married, y'all going through a separation or? No, we actually wasn't. We were actually working on our relationship, but she's the one who started with. 
Uh, okay. So what kind of yeah. was she doing? Was she just bad mouthing the baby, or was bad she she want she's talking about getting new new daddy basically? Just holding it for like a few seconds. And, and your but he was doing it a little hard. Yeah. In your perspective, what what was he trying to do at that point? Bad mouthing the baby and me and started talking stupid. So it just I don't know. It just really went left. I don't know. Okay. When you say stupid stuff, what are you talking about? Like it just started really pissing me off. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Man. All right, man. Uh, this is Officer Maloney. Just chill with him. You got any questions for me right now? Okay. Just a shot of liquor, though. I'm gonna work on that if we can. All right. We'll all see right. what happens, though. Did you feel like he was choking her? Like, what was she doing during this time? Yeah, and we all grabbed him, and then did. Uh, do you know what they was arguing about? I don't know what they were arguing for. When they came out of the room, they were just screaming and yelling. So that was all. Okay, know. yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to see, because she said that you saw it all going down, so I just wanted to get your opinion on it. Um, can I just have your name, date of birth? Birthday's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and then do you have a good phone number? All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The officers gathered to discuss their findings, piecing together all the bits of the events as they slowly started to make sense of what actually happened. You got anything yet? Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's a sister. She apparently started in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Victim saying that uh, they was arguing. He thinks she's cheating on him. Okay. During the argument, he gets pissed off, grabs her by the neck, starts choking her. Mm -hmm. She's kicking them. They separate. They come out of the bedroom. Is where she starts witnessing it. Okay. And she said he did it again. Um, victim said he choked her three different times. Never blacked out. Um, she said around 30 seconds what the victim said. I didn't get that out of the mm -hmm. yet to one of the times. Okay. Uh, apparently he choked her several times and was like, you know, I guess they were still arguing during this time. Um, any fatigue or anything? No, I haven't. I, I couldn't see. You see any injuries? Okay. I couldn't see no marks or anything. Uh, marks. I didn't see any marks. I was going to ask her if there's any marks on the side, but okay. I didn't, I didn't know if she even checked. That. She also said he punched her on the side. The victim did. Okay. I didn't ask him for her to lift her shirt up, but. I don't see anything on the neck, but the witness. Well, I, want, I didn't detain him up there because he was pretty chill from the get go. We had no reason. He admitted to put his hands on our throat walking that way. So we 10 20 him over there. Yeah. Under Miranda, he basically said she's bad mouthing the baby, saying she's going to get a new daddy for the baby and stuff. So he admitted to putting his hands on our throat to keep her from hitting him. He put her, I guess, against the wall to do that. And then I uh, broke a zipper on a backpack to get to his card. So he's going 1095 for her. Yeah, we didn't ask her about the card. Yeah, I'm going to get some clarity with the card and then how much the backpack cost is. But it looks like ag assault strangulation and then criminal damage property. I know we don't have any of the, the physical injuries, but we have. Criminal, what, what, what did you say? Zipper? Yeah, I broke a zipper on a backpack. So criminal trespass property, yeah. Um, and then just because he's already said that he put his hand around her throat, we'll do ag assault. Okay. And if you don't mind passing off, he's been super chill. He wants one more shot of liquor before he goes. I said, we'll see what happens. He ain't going to get that, though. Um, shot of liquor? Is he <laughs> drunk? Uh, he's been drinking a little bit. He came out of the, the room, it was like a thing at Hennessy, walked back in, dropped it, and came back out. So, how old is he? The suspect highlighted his history of similar arguments while the officers were already finalizing their decision. You've been drinking today? No, I just started drinking after I found out she called the police. Yeah, gotcha. I feel you, man. I appreciate you being cooperative. Mm hmm. I don't mind. I do my, if I do crime, I do my time. I don't mind. Has this ever happened before? Who? Uh, between you two, gotten physical to this point? Uh -oh. Or it's just a lot of verbal? Just verbal, really. Yeah. Yeah. How old's your daughter? Uh, just some weeks old now. Oh, okay. Two, I think three weeks now. Yeah. Okay. And you guys, you said you're not going through. Uh, you're trying to work your relationship out. Yes, sir. Okay. So I thought she was cheating on me. It was a no. Yeah, absolutely. We working on. As she found out she had baby. Well, after she had baby, we started working on the relationship. Yeah. Completely understandable. And she just started going back no. So I like that. Yeah. No, I got you, man. Uh, 2002, I think. 2001. He already said. He said basically, if it was a, if it was a man, he'd be. The so he knows his anger. He said, he, I knew my limits. So, all right, then this is the victim here, right? Yeah, victim okay. and witnesses in the black. But okay. We cut yourself in the loss. Right? Okay, that'll work. We'll just hang tight. Like I said, if you want to sit down on that bumper or you're good sanding, it doesn't matter to me, man. Yep. This is my first time getting locked up. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you've been real cool about it, so I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, it really doesn't even matter. I don't need to. You're a big dude, so that could have turned, turned out bad. <laughs> yeah, and like we said, you know, you're just detained right now. We're just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, I would have took it to that point where I had to fight the police, but I don't do all that. Yeah, no, I mean, I really appreciate that, man. I'm trying to. I don't.
Go on work. Yep. That's if I don't get locked up. So if I get locked up, I don't. Well, even if you do, man, like you being cooperative, that goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? You said she did hit you. She hit you in the face or just arms kind of area? My face and my head, but that's not even something I'll do. Yeah. I just want to make sure, you, like you said, your head, No, you don't want EMS, anything like that, no head injuries. All right, man. After a thorough discussion, officers concluded their decisive action on the suspect and notified him of his charges. All right, man, from what you told me, we're talking about everything. All right, you're under arrest at this point for aggravated assault strangulation, okay? Any questions for me? No, now, I'll tell you, we may have more charges. I got to talk to her because I know you talked about busting that zipper. Is that something that your backpack or her backpack? That was her. Okay, let's go ahead and walk back here. Yeah. Hold up, before I go in, uh -huh. can y'all get my ice, you know, with the gray yeah. shirt on? I'm gonna, I'm we'll get all that. Stay with me. Right. You got any uh, any knowledge or nothing, man? I didn't feel anything when I patched you the first time. We just got to search you completely, yeah, okay? my charge, my phone, my headphones. Okay, I'll let it go with you. And my lighter. And um, right. once I get done with kind of my investigation, they're going to go ahead and transfer you so you can get to the jail and get booked in this stuff as soon as you can. They'll tell you the final list of charges when we get over there, all right? I appreciate you being cool with us. Mm -hmm. These cuffs are uh, pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, I know they so. suck to have on, but... Y'all got a big old car. I can't finish this little shit. No. Right, on, on, that side, on that side, it's got some room. Yeah. See the indenture? That ain't big enough, so. I, man, I done put guys twice car. your side about it. You be all right. I think we got to sit sideways sometimes if we got to. Have you been arrested before? Mm -hmm. Never? As soon as we get to the jail, they take the handcuffs off. Why don't you cool with the deputies? And basically, we just turn you over to them and they'll, they'll handle you from there. Now, we'll tell you, man. Uh, violence y'all live together you're married and you get a baby okay so since you're getting arrested on a family violence charge before you get let out you gotta go in front of a judge first and the judge will put a bond condition into place about what kind of contact y'all can have with each other that's going to be all of the judge though just want to let you know that that is coming in the pipeline next couple of hours for you okay Man, all right. Yeah, yeah, I told you down. Down, uh, like, yeah, there you go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I ain't gonna be I can't use that seatbelt, so I'm a bit. You ain't gonna be use I'll tell you. I know, we're just gonna try to reach. Yeah, Is there a. I'm gonna put that on. Yeah, I can't. You can't go on no more? Uh uh. That's the only way I'm about to get in. You don't want the seatbelt on you? Uh uh. I'm I'll be out. I'll be out. In an attempt to make sure they got everything right about how they charged the suspect, officers returned to the scene. They later detailed the consequences of the suspect's action. Can I talk to you over here, please, ma'am? I don't know if you want to share all your business with everybody or just talk to you about it, okay? Um, we gathered, it sounds like the other officer was talking to you, since you get your, his hands put around your throat a couple of times, is that correct? Do you ever feel like you could pass out or anything? I can't breathe like this. Okay, do you want an uh, ambulance to come check you out? You don't need nothing like that? Okay, so you're fine. Did he ever squeeze you to the point where I feel like you're going to pass out or black out? Okay. All right. So, Officer Maloney is here. You're going to have some information for you. So, it's uh, Victor's Bill of Rights. Kind of, this is uh, my last name. That's the case number if you have any questions. Um, it, he is currently charged with felony. Uh, so, there's that information. If you need uh, any resources, Family Violence Clinic, um, that's a good number to call if you need. And at the very bottom, you'll see it says Vine on the back. Right there. If you want to contact that number, that's actually the number of the jail. Um, if you tell them today, hey, he just got locked up, they will let you know when he's getting released. So y'all are family violence relationship, which means y'all live together and got a baby together, right? And y'all are also married. So with any time we have one of those situations, it doesn't matter if somebody wants to prosecute or not prosecute, the burden falls back on the state to actually press charges, all right? Um, so he'll have good arrested today for that. He's going to go to jail for um, aggravated assault strangulation right now. And he was telling me as well that a backpack got broken. Is that right? Zipper on a backpack. Is that your, your backpack? How much do you think it'll cost to replace? I'm okay, with it. okay. Um, just a rough guess. Uh, how much that backpack was? Uh, twenty something dollars, about twenty five dollars. You think twenty dollars? Um, you didn't gotta do that. No, I'm just asking. But he 25. he told me the backpack got broken. He said I guess he broke it trying to get to that debit card or whatever, right? That is not okay. debit card. I bought that one again. You just bought that one. Okay. What kind of backpack was it? Do you know if it's got a particular name brand? What's the name of it? It was. It ain't the polo. Uh uh. Go get my backpack off my bed. I don't know the name, but it was like, I think it was like 1999. Okay. I got it from Bowie. That's fine. We'll, we'll just document that yeah. point. GV. GV? You say GV. GV, yeah. GV. GV. I, don't okay. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. That's fine. We'll, we'll document that point. 
Um, so with him getting arrested for a family violence charge, he has to go in front of a judge first and the judge will give you all bond conditions. They'll say how kind of contact he can have around you, um, so on and so forth. You feel like he'll be kind of safe once he gets out or you think he'll come back and hurt you again? Yeah, I don't need him to be around me, but I don't want him around me, but I would do that too. Go for eight one. So what I would tell you to do, y'all going through divorces? I want one. Okay. So what I would tell you to do is if you want to go through, go ahead and go that whole process, you can take uh, take the case number we gave you. You can always go to a, a civil attorney and say, look, we're going through these issues. I want to have a divorce. Um, now, what I would tell you to do if you're considering that and you think something may happen with you again in the future, go to the courthouse, same case number, and talk to a deputy and say, I need to talk to a judge about a TPO. Uh, it's called Temporary Protective Order. Go in front of the judge, you tell them basically everything that happened today that you told us and anything else that's happened. And the judge can do a, do that bond condition and a TPO saying, hey, he can't have contact with you here. He can't have harassing contact with you, whatever they see fit to help you the most. All right. Any so, questions for me? So how do we go about like, OK, what I'll do? OK, since I stay across the house from my auntie, mm -hmm. I don't mind him being over my auntie now. Yeah. So could our daughter. Mm -hmm. But how do we go about this? So without, what without I, me having contact with what I would strive y'all to do the most right now is go to a courts and get a child custody hearing in place. Because until you get one of those done, everything's going to be hearsay about a civil situation between you got custody, he's got custody. Until you go in front of a judge and the judge says, no, you've got him, got the baby on one day, he's going to have her the next day. There's nothing that we can really enforce or try to push off of that, okay? So until a judge does that, it's kind of be up to y'all about how you want to do it, all right? Okay. So if he's stuff of that apartment y'all shared apartment don't don't break them don't throw them out it's still his stuff you could be held criminally liable for that as well okay um since y'all are trying to go through this if he's living here still talk to the leasing office see if the leasing office can get you to a different apartment move in with your family member if you want to um, or go to the courthouse when you do the, doesn't matter if he's been living with you the state of georgia doesn't care about how long somebody's been there technically or if they're on the lease or not on the lease After 30 days not even a number. If if they've got like a toothbrush and that kind of stuff, if we can establish they've been living somewhere, they've got residency. So um, talk to the leasing office and go get an eviction. That's going to be your best bet right now, okay? Um, any questions for me? I know it's a lot we just gave you. Um, if you if you got anything else, always call. Anybody here can help you out with any information if you need it, okay? All right. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. The suspect was charged with aggravated assault and criminal damage to property. Finally, let's see what happens when a routine traffic stop of self-proclaimed sovereign citizen outright refuses to acknowledge the law's authority. Help! Help! It's my glasses! I got help! 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 I heard what I got! On March 28, 2023, during a routine traffic stop in Smith County, Deputy Peters pulled over a vehicle due to its non-functioning taillights. The driver, Cody Voss, upon encounter, argued with the officer, mentioning taillights are not a crime, and that he was traveling, not driving. A typical case of Karen that refuses to cooperate. Hello? <coughs> Sir? You got a driver's license? I'm Deputy Peters, Peters with the, I'm Deputy Peters Peters with the Smith County Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. Reason for the stop today, your taillights were not working as you were driving on the road, okay? And then you immediately pull into a residence. I literally have a claim that taillights are not a crime. I'm not involved in the traffic code. I have a notice here. I literally have a lawsuit going on with Nassau PD okay. and signed by the judge. This is his dad's house. The He's county. also not driving. Driving's a commercial and I'm not, and I'm, not, I'm not driving. This is the okay. county commissioner's house, county clerk. We just pulled in. Which, which tail light is that? It was both of them. Which one? Both of your tail lights. Hmm. None of them were working as you were driving on the roadway. You have you a driver's license, driving, sir? Though. You keep, you keep I'm, not, I'm not driving. I'm, not, I'm outside of your jurisdiction, actually. Who do you work with? The Smith County Sheriff's Office. What's, yeah, the Sheriff's County. Yes, sir. Do, so, you, do you have any form of an ID or driver's license? I do, but I don't have to present it since I haven't. Uh, you, you do committed. at this point in time because you if have committed traffic a traffic stops. You have committed a traffic offense. Which you I'm were not driving a vehicle. Code. I'm not I'm here not. to argue with you. I'm not you have a driver's I've license. Got a, I've got a dictionary because he doesn't seem to know I'm the not definition. Involved, I'm not involved in the traffic code. Yeah. I'm so the definition of driving versus the definition of traveling. There's a there's a dictionary. Okay. You, you let's use this term. You were operating a vehicle no, on a public roadway. A vehicle on a, a public roadway. I'm not, sir. The, he's right now. He he is being stopped. Okay. Well, you have no involvement. 
Okay. Well, actually, I'm, I'm actually just being a concerned citizen because I know that that's fine. People, okay. So I'm actually just watching. If you want to be a concerned citizen, if you want to be a concerned okay. citizen, yeah, add I your am, car, I'm please. I'm showing you the, the, the law. Okay. This is actually case system. law. This is case okay. law. Showing that's, you the and, difference and that's between fine. bill and take and, and a that, That's not uh, that right vehicle, now. That's not where we're covering. You actually don't need. You have a driver's license. I can get you out of here. What emergency do you have? Because if there's not actually a crime or a victim, then you actually can't use your red and blue lights. You're actually trespassing on private property too. Okay. We need to see a super You were operating on, Not a, operating. on a public Stop roadway. using that terminology. You're, you're lying. Incorrect. Stop you're it. Lying you have a driver's lying. license. Get your I supervisor here for lying right now. You're actually here. lying. Not at this point in time. If you can provide you're me with here. your driver's license. I'm not. I will. Do you have a driver's license? Yeah, not driving. I don't answer not questions. Not driving. Don't answer questions. Get your supervisor here for lying on the record. Faced with no other options, officers start taking legal action against the suspects. Soon, a third ally joined the Karen Alliance. What's your name and badge number? You're literally lying right now. On okay, the right, right, right now, you are being placed. Hey, you are detained. Whoa, 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 whoa. You are being detained. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right you now, you're being detained. Okay, stop. 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 That's crazy. You really, bro? What are you doing? Wow. Right now, you're being detained. Bro, Illegally detained. Me, bro. Illegally detained. Me, bro. Me, bro. Dude, you're you going to be losing your job. You're getting dude, sued. What you're getting sued, dude. Oh, what if I you're done? losing your job. Right now, no crime has been committed. Right now, I am detaining you, failing to ID. Here. Can you look it up? I can, Karen, but you're refusing to offer it to me. He's arresting me for failure. To right, ID. right now you're not he's, being arrested. He's, 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 he's taking me to Karen. Right what now your you're name? not being arrested. Your name? Sir, step back. What is your name? Step back. What's you're about to get no, detained too. Yeah, step back. No, you're, you're not even taking me life. for failure you're not to ID. You're not your life. You're kidnapping somebody. Uh, please. Right me. now, like I said, you are not he's under arrest. He's not you are being life. detained. He's okay. Handcuffs. Yeah, that's the same. Illegally detained. The same thing. I don't consent to any searches. His taillight was out. His taillight was out. So now he's allegedly. Allegedly. His taillight's out. Please, I do not want to go. Look at that, mom. I'm sorry. Can I ask what's going on? Right now, he's being detained because he failed to ID. What I'm trying to do is get his ID because he was. Driving a vehicle. No, he's not driving. Now you're lying again. Sir, what a fuck this is not bus. about you, That's okay? This is with you. him. You keep saying the wrong thing. Where's your driver's license? It's under duress. Okay. You can, you can, under duress. Can I get it for you? Where is it at? Under duress. Where's your driver's you're license? Shaking at? And it's making me Where nervous. is your driver's license at? It's making me making me nervous. Under, un, un, under, under duress. It's in my pocket. In but your I'm, pocket. I'm but right I'm not giving you jurisdiction because I'm not operating under the commercial Okay, code. that that's we're, we're beyond that right now, okay? <laughs> All right, under yeah, the rescue, I'm in handcuffs. Not, Can you please get it? Yes, where, where is it at? And you're shaking. It's making me nervous. Where is, where is your driver's license? Can I ask why he's in handcuffs? Because right now when I stepped here, out of the vehicle, here, here, he refused to ID, okay? What I'm trying to do is identify him once he once I get his identification. So I pulled him I pulled him over. Ma'am, ma'am. Wait, I want to ask this. Do you have a way to check his ID through a license tag? No, I don't. Oh, no, you don't have so a computer in your car? You don't have I do have a computer in my car, but it does not link with the license plate. Number? License plate. Huh. Okay. Let's, right, we're we're going to step back over here you're so I can crazy. get your ID. Not, you, dude, let him drag you. You can't. You're not non wow. Like I've said, you're look, they're, they're, no they're, they're causing issues not beyond the point of what needs to happen. I'm not. You're not. I said you are detained right now. Can I see your ID? crime? Can I see your ID? If I'm detained, then I'm under. You said it's in your pocket? Because he's in fear for his life. What, what a joke, Peter. Dude, you're you're fired. You are right, fired, man. bro. What? Losing your job. What sir. Joke? Sir. Don't, don't, don't you can step back by your car. Don't even talk to me. Don't say Just sir to me. Up against you're not in fear for your life. You're on my property. I'm not taking the keys. You can, you, I'll put them back in your pocket, okay? Are you really going to are you really going to arrest me? Are you serious? I've said this multiple times. You're not under arrest. I detained detain you because it's you failed to ID, you okay? The, 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 you don't get the dictionary. Where's, the where's your license? Because I'm not trying to go all through your, your wallet. I don't consent to a search. I'm if not you, searching. Where is you your ID? me as a man and I'll give it to you? Once we're, once we're complete with the traffic stop. It's not a traffic stop, man. It you're is really, a traffic You're really going to get in trouble. Can you talk to your supervisor? It's a traffic stop if I'm a U.S. citizen. Okay. I'm not a U.S. citizen. Do you have I'm some form of an ID? I have no weapons. You said it was in your wallet, correct? No weapons on me. The officer then continued to probe Cody with more inquiries on his identification documents. You're scaring me. You've already, I wish you would just talk to me like a man and I can explain no things. What, what, what have I done that was disrespectful to you? No you grabbed me, you're shaking, my hands My hands are in handcuffs, I haven't committed a crime. What crime okay. do you suspect of being committed right now? Do you know the definition of a crime? Is it in your wallet? Your ID? You're gonna, you're, you're searching his, his wallet? You know that that is an awful search procedure. <laughs> Cody, know. would you like okay. me to get it out of your uh, wallet for you? I can't believe you wouldn't give him permission to search your stuff, would you? Do you want me to get it out for you? 
under duress, if, if he's saying that he's not going to let me go on list, then you can present it to him. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you can. can you tell me where your ID is? A minute ago, you said I could take it out of your out of your pocket. I don't answer Under questions. duress because you're handcuffing me. Okay. Yes, because yeah, told, you, you are detained at this point in time. My ID is in my wallet. Okay. My ID is in my Where is wallet. it at in your wallet? I'm not trying to go through every single card you have. This is it, I'm that, assuming. That's fine. You can use that. That's okay. Uh, this is driver of this car causing the issues. Hey! I'm not a driver. Hey. I'm not a driver. Hey! No, you don't... Meanwhile, in the background, all hell broke loose when Derek Phillips started mocking the officers outside, and eventually met a dramatic and pathetic end to that. You, you, don't take, you interjected yourself into the Hey, house. no! Get off my property! Get over here, no! Hey, are you the Excuse me, sir. Are you the supervisor? Come no, I'm not. Okay. Get away from me. You're Get injecting off yourself into this traffic stop. Get off Get my property, you piece of Get over here now. No, you get over here then. He wants to say get over here like I'm a okay. dog. I will get over here. Yeah, exactly. What the is going on? Yeah, exactly. Get away from no. me. No. Get away from me. No. You don't hey. go in the house. Get away from me. Get away from me. Stop. Stop. Channel. Stop. Help. 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 Give me your hand. Help. Give me your hands now. Help. 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 It's my car. I got Get back! Help. Step back! Get back! Help! 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 Hey, stop breaking my arm! I'm not breaking your arm. Hey, yo, get back. Get you guys stop breaking my glasses. I can't see. Yo, you guys stop His glasses are right there. Those are his glasses, okay? You step out with me. Hey, you know what you're doing? What the hell is going on? Help, help! Please let us go. Help, help! Hey, don't hurry him. He has not committed anything. Ma'am, step back. Let him go! You're hurting his shoulder! You're hurting his shoulder! I have your glasses. I have your glasses. Get in that glass. What's wrong? I've done nothing. Please record this. They're kidnapping me. I've done nothing. I don't know what's going on. Can we all talk like adults, please? Can you come with me? Please talk. Hey, Rug. I'm putting him in my car. Come on. Why don't we go in the car? Because right now you are causing more of an issue. Yes. What did I do, man? You have my ID, dude. Can you run my ID at least, or what? What are you doing? Why do I have to go in the car if I just stand here, man? Are you serious, man? Alright, step in the car. Why are you doing this? What was your name? Imagine I'm going to Step in the car. Why are you doing this to me, man? Step in the car. Okay. Can I at least Move your foot. Back you off me, you're hurting me. He's pushing on me. I have a bad back. He's hurting me. I'm keeping you from turning towards me. To talk to you, stupid. How stupid is this? Stay back. Who is this? Help! I'm getting kidnapped! I'm Sorry, just stay right there! Wrong. Stay right there! House. They ran in our house! I've done nothing wrong! No crying at all! Nothing wrong! Yeah, let's get him in the car. No! Yes. I'm not going stand with up. you! I've done nothing! Stand up! What are you doing? Stand up! I've done nothing! I've done nothing! I've done you hurting me! My arms are getting We're broken! We're 10 got one resistance. Shut up! Get me! You're a supervisor now! I want a supervisor! Give me a supervisor! I need a supervisor! I'm being kidnapped! I've done nothing! I've done nothing! Oh. Come on. Are you so You're so such a piece of <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. Get in the car. Get out! Ah, I'm on! Oh. The parents of Derek joined in on the fury and could only watch as the officers proceeded with legal procedures. What's going on? I'm not doing it. I'm not going anywhere. You already Please. did do it. Put your foot in Please. the car. Please, hey, 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 my cuffs. Please. Please. They're breaking my wrist. We'll check Please. them in a second Just when you Just check it right now. I'm right no. here. I'm not doing anything wrong. Help, I can't breathe. Are you okay, ma'am? No. Okay. This is too much. Yes, ma'am. I'm not being funny. Do you need a paramedic? I don't know. Okay. No. I, I, so, what, what, what's this guy doing? So, Cody, I pulled him over. It was a it was a traffic stop. Let's step over here so I can speak with you. Cody, 
driving the uh, vehicle over here. Mm -hmm. The vehicle had no tail lights. Simple stop. I was gonna get out with them, explain to them, hey, you're already at your residence. It's gonna be a simple warning. Mm -hmm. I don't. Who who is this? This is my son. Right your here. son, it's right there. Okay. What's his name? Derek. Derek. Derek stepped out, started interjecting into the traffic stop, yelling, preventing me from continuing my stop with Cody. Okay, at that point in time, uh, my partner showed up. We attempted to detain Derek due to interfering with public services. That's when he ran into the house. We had to follow him so into the house. The gonna be at the and at that point in time, he was placed in custody. <laughs> Law figured out. You uh, know? Yes, I mean, sir. He, he, he probably don't think he had any rights coming into the house or whatever. So. Well, he was out here interfering with the traffic stop, and when we went to try to detain him, he ran into the house. And at that point in time, we don't know if he's going to retrieve weapons. We yeah. don't know exactly what's going he on. So, around, so, well, you know, me being on this I stop, know. I don't I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. um, so, Cody's in cuffs in the back seat of my car. Um, he was he was just detained because he failed to ID. He's, he's not going to be placed in the jail or anything like that, but he failed to ID. That's what started this whole fiasco. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 It's okay. not tight, man. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You can do I'm getting it. Give me just a second, okay? <clears throat> okay. That one, that one you're trying to rotate your arm? I'm not, I'm not even moving my arm. I'm just holding it still. Okay, I'll loosen that one just a little bit, okay? I need a... 68, can you run the name, Dave Burke? Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. Stand by one. I'm on my own property, not you interfering at all. Words is not interfering. Away from his I need to see who your supervisor is. Words is not. Can I get my light glasses? Glasses. No. Glasses. Glasses. glasses, glasses. You know, I've, right I've got them. I got them. I'll get them. I don't see anything back there right now. Yes, ma'am. He arrested me for the same thing. Okay. Ma'am, do you need EMS? Standing right here. With this. Do you, this is, this do you need EMS? You need EMS? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say. Yeah, please run One officer then continued to highlight the events of the night to his supervisor in sequence of order. What's up, sir? So I pulled over that Crown Vic. He's driving on 14 with no uh, taillight. Um, he pulled in here on 37 drove all the way into the residence. Um, he was actually right behind that Chevrolet pickup and they both got out, started sovereign citizen crap. Um, not ID, not doing anything. So I detained the original driver for failed ID, just detained him right now. Uh, second guy started flipping out. That's when me and Ru or when Rugg showed up, went to go detain him for basically interfering with the traffic stop. Um, he then ran straight into the house. I got no return for either of them. Temple. He ran into the house. We had to follow him into the bedroom. And uh, who are they? All they have are these uh, passport cards or some crap. But that's what. That's all they had. God, you got Derek too. You see the driver of the passport. Well, he was the one in the, the truck that interfered. They weren't in the same vehicle. Why were they coming to this house? They both said they live here, but I don't I don't know. Um, that female, she came out of the house, and I don't know if it's mom or what, but she kind of made it seem like they both live here. Okay. What kind of resistance? Um, we got him in there. He was just kind of wrestling to go in the cuffs, but... I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. So, what kind of force did I do? Nothing. I mean, he, he fell onto the ground. We just kind of yanked his arms. Okay. 
just to get them in cuff. What I was probably gonna do is the original driver I pulled over, just cut him a ticket and send him. I guess. I mean, that's all I got was this. I had to get it out of the out of his wallet. So he never ID. No. Put him in fail ID. Which I mean, one? Block the traffic stop. The first guy, the driver. Yeah, I get here. And, and then the other guy, once we got him in cuffs, he refused to walk to the car as well. So, like, made us carry him. Yeah. Is said the Moms of County Commission? Yeah, Derek Phillips is Terry Phillips' son. Oh, okay. The officers then highlighted their suspects about the legal action that would follow and continued to discuss possible charges they wanted to add. So just so you're aware, you are under arrest, okay? For what crime? For interfering. But, you know, interference is a physical act. Hey, That's hey not, Derek. Not a, uh, not a hey, Derek, have you ever had a Texas driver's license? I, I have it before in the past, yeah. Okay. I, I use my Texas travel ID, though. Um, is the ambulance on the way? I believe I'm bleeding. I'm yeah, they are. Emails. Yeah, you do have a cut on your face. Yeah, they're, they're on their way. Okay. Okay. Is your supervisor on the way as well? Our supervisor's already here. Can I speak? Is it a he or her? Uh, you don't need to speak with him. I don't get to speak with a chance to speak with the supervisor? Why do I not get a chance to speak with your supervisor? I can go ask him if he wants to speak with you, yeah, but I'd no, like to... we're not required to have you speak to our supervisor. No, I know you're not required. I've asked. I'm worried 68. about you asking. Hey, Cody. Hey, um, who, who are these people out here? Yes, uh, Terry Phillips and Karen Phillips. Okay. Are you okay if you leave the vehicle with them? Are, are you are you taking us? Yeah, so right now you're under arrest and so is Derek. For what crime? For failed ID. I get, you had my ID. Okay. Are you okay leaving the vehicle here with them? Yeah, they, they, they can have it. It's not a vehicle, though. It's an automobile. I'm not involved in commerce. I told you guys. I'm not going to argue. Okay. okay. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, can I speak to you? Look, I know, hey, guys. Where, where are the keys at so they can move the vehicle? You had them. I, I put them back in your pocket. Uh, are they still in your pocket? I can't tell. These handcuffs. Okay. I thought you put them both on your, on your hood. Oh, yeah, I might be there. I'm yeah, gonna give, I'm gonna give him the keys. Yeah, so you're taking this both. Yeah. You can go public service for What do you think I'll hand this? Hey, do you want your uh, wallet to go with you as well, or do you want to leave it here with them? Um, Sixty nine. Um, I don't know. Did Derek take his wallet, or is he leaving it here? I think he's leaving it. I don't know for sure. Yeah, I don't know because y'all. I mean, we can take it with you to jail. That's fine. Well, I don't want y'all to be going. I mean, you can. It's your wallet, man. I mean, it's I know. whatever you want. I just do. don't think it was right. Like, I mean, I you could have just given me a citation, and I okay. could have. Okay. We're we're beyond that now. What are y'all getting him for? Interfering with public duties. When y'all went into his house and without a warrant. And okay, I guess the wallet's gonna go with you to jail. That's fine. After deciding on their course of action, they handed over the vehicle to Derek's parents. Here are the keys to this car. I don't I don't know what happened with this. I think they're this in his pocket or something. Okay. Um Derek's got a few things on his person that he'd like to give you guys. So doesn't want okay. to go to jail with him. Yeah. Um are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. I'll uh we'll pull him out real quick and grab that stuff and we'll get to you, okay? Next, the officers ensured the suspects were checked for injuries and began gathering witness statements. Do they have cameras? Are they willing to phone cameras? They do have cameras, I see. Like oh, yeah. On the he keeps on swearing. There's video of everything. He was filming when I yeah. when he ran all, for me. All three of them were filming. And I think mom might have his phone or she started her own video. Both. Yeah. See if they all let you put the cameras in for where I get the cameras as evidence. How are you going to say I mean, they all are. Did you ask him if we can have 
do that. Want some if you want video of it. Go ask Kenny, go ask Mom. Ask mom for a video. Yeah. Hey, ma'am. So, Derek is requesting the the videos that y'all had taken. Can I get that for evidence? Uh, uh, not right now. Uh -uh. You didn't. You don't feel comfortable sharing that with me. Uh, okay. You don't want to give it to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking about on the wrist side, but it's probably dead. Mom doesn't want to give any video footage of it. That's fine. So. Yeah, that's fine. Did you ID buff now? The what? Did you ID buff now? No. Did you do it? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to stay apart from her. Ma'am, can I get your name as a witness? Karen Phillips. Is it with K A R E N? Uh, P H I L L I P S. Just make sure. What's your birthday, Miss Phillips? They're having an event. And who was that that showed up in the in this car right here? That's my husband, Terry. Terry Phillips. Okay. You know his birthday offhand? Okay. Thank you. After that, the officers collected evidence of their injuries and discussed the possible legal outcome for the suspects. I'll take pictures of it. Okay. Just have it all documented. You need anything else? No. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. You want to take pictures of my arm real quick? Yeah. Yeah. On a motorist fifth at South Flushville Avenue, uh, 600 block. I'll get you to 28 in a second. We'll get some pictures of him in the jail. Right there, too. Yeah. Right. Six, that's 28. It's going to be. Boy, Victor, Nora, 7211. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hey, that driver, you think needs to go to jail? Or? I just told it up to you, dude. I know, man. I don't know what the situation Sarge, was. Sarge before. keeps telling me just do what I normally would. And, yeah. I mean, he, dude, he's just telling you to do what I know. I you, just you know what you're doing. So. He confused I mean, me. If, 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 if he failed, if you had to take him and detain him and find his ID, he's failing to identify himself. So. I just based on the situation and what's involved, I would I would take him and book him. Well, that's what I was thinking, but you know how Sergeant Blair can be sometimes. It just, no, he being, would just he would just like he's being straight up. He's just telling you to do what you would normally do. What do. I normally do. Yeah. I mean that's just because they're elected officials and stuff doesn't change what we're doing. No, I don't give a shit. Yeah. So just if if you want to do it, if you want yeah. to release him, release him. He's definitely going to jail, though. I'll oh, without a doubt. Too. When you showed up, I was already about to tell you to put him in cuffs. Yeah. And then he started spouting off at you. Yeah. And I'll take care of that one. Because I was already, I had already made up my mind that he was getting put in cuffs next. I just was dealing with him, dude. Yeah. I'm like trying to juggle. I want to see what the sign on his cuffs is. Do y'all do y'all know that that Cody? Uh huh. Y'all know him. 
how y'all know him? He's a friend of friend Derek. a friend of Derek's. Yeah. Okay. And Derek's your son, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just didn't know where he came into play yeah. or anything yeah. like no, that. No, just a just a family friend. Okay. Okay. Just a family friend. Yeah. So just to explain, I think I already kinda I spoke with you a minute ago, didn't I? Mm-mm. Okay. So I originally pulled over Cody for Oh yeah, I guess you did. I'm yeah, sorry. So, okay. You 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 pulled him over for no time. Where'd you pull him over? Right? Uh fourteen and thirty seven. Oh, okay. And he drove all the way into the okay. the residence. So. Yeah. Yeah. Officers then started closing in on wrapping up the case as they progressed with legal procedures. <laughs> we'll just get him at the jail. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Michael, just as witness, sir. Yeah. All right. All righty. Anything else? No, we're good. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
With the suspects in custody, the officers transported them to the station to finalize the legal process, bringing an intense night of law enforcement to a close. You can step out. I'm gonna walk right up here to this cage. Hey, uh, is it policy or can you take the handcuffs off? I tell you as a man, I'm just not gonna. As soon as we get in the jail, I'll take them off. Okay. Can you take my buddies off too? Yeah, he'll get he'll get them off too. They're just right around to this door, man. Yeah, there's so much. There's so much stuff. Right here, Cody. Right here, Cody. You're in so much trouble. I'm just gonna pray for him. I'm not signing. I'm not signing nothing, dude. And I'm not saying nothing. I don't answer questions. I don't want to ask a good right question. Yeah, I just called him fat as a uh, weak and uh, nervous. Silence is a great right to yeah practice. Yeah, but I guess what we have the right to speak too, and we know how to. <laughs> Cody Voss was charged with failure to identify, while Karen Phillips was charged with interfering with public duties during her son Derek's arrest. Derek Phillips was charged with resisting arrest, interfering with public duties, and evading arrest after involving himself in a traffic stop incident. Don't miss out on thrilling stories about criminals. Subscribe to the channel for all the action.